prepared yet to try yourself because this week is going to be rainy, rainy, rainy. It's going to be storm. It's going to rain cats and dogs. So thank you very much for joining Key Mama Show today live on Facebook. Uh, if you can see my caption, it's about some Ghanaians that are stuck in abroad. So that's what I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to change the dialect to the Akan and the Ga language. So I will flow and the message, please, when you come, share. Because this is very, very important. Some of our brothers and sisters are stuck abroad. And they are unable to go home, even if the uh, airports are open. Because they don't have the two weeks to 21 days quarantine funds to pay can you imagine we are talking about close to two thousand dollars and they've come here and uh, since they arrived they haven't you know they are not working they are here as visitors so some people are helping them you know feed and shelter so now if the board if the airlines are you know moving uh, back and forth and they wanted to go home. Now, when they get home, even they, before they, they, depart, they depart, they have to pay that money from the get-go before they will board the plane. It's very windy now. Before they will board the plane to Ghana, and this is a problem. So I'm here, and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about you know, violence that is going on in, the, in our community, especially, I am in mean, the Bronx, not just in the Bronx, uh, you know, other, you know, tri-state areas that, uh, you know, gun violence is going on there. I'm going to talk about it. And also, something that caught my attention today, and I posted on my Facebook wall about, um, Ghana government planning to purchase an armored cars. The question is, is it the right time? Okay. Uh me add off no. Me mam me mamma kwa ba ki mama show so. Me and your ma ye me me ya too ye ki mama show so. Na eh adia ba kwa me per se e do um o man penini asha for any more gana. Se ababe tome ni muni na ansu mi didi se muni ni e koso na omo abe kaha sebe sebe omo abe suye nkrofu nkrofu e bua wom se ni omo ni abe bi omo di omo tibeto se ni abe ya omo ni omo sabe ko omo anu e didi because omo kita omo return ticket dada return ticket no omo wo omo return ticket but say say no ni akwa problem ne say 
Eh, di kaina eh abani she mra se every embassy e wa kwantu mu e be ye evacuation no. Evacuation no. Ye ye ti ase se. Nko fo bebre nso ti ase se. Bro fo kasa no nso che se. Evacuation de anka untu e bibia na ya boa o ne ne ukọ efise wa ka wo ba bi. Ba ye ncheche mu no ne nko bise mu no. And tisa ne wase wan kasa ne wase utia u airline fe wan kasa ne wase utia u plane esika yo yate wan kasa na opeso utia ene sa wo na oba ente wo hunche wo na opeso kwa ebi ana bibi kaka sha wo hua unim se u kofi inti kaka na sha wo hunu ni awa ni deto utiki tina eno ube kofi but em em ma me enkwati a e wo se utua wa utua o quarantine sika ahyase no na ente sa ye nya ye hu wo social media se oh na ye nya no ma ho ho nigeria fo ko e ba eh ghana government vi e o ye good o oni ye be kwa ko to hotel ye be ma ye diani three square meals ye be ma o se ye be ma o se Inti no mo nya mo ti evacuation no mo fo se eh se gana ban e ba be boa ye mi akofie dia eni e se ye kofie dodo enti sa e wo se utu ya o plane fare no nya o plane ticket na wa twa no eno de enka wo e bia wa line number bi be bi answer de bi ye fa no nya djuma e wo se utu ya no asa wo twa sa quarantine money no aka ho mo ma men kan Eh, send ya message, you know, a bar a bonting. Mumma men kind and chill. Mumma me one second, let me hear back. Okay, maybe I'll be kind. And son of my two uncle Modino, so you are ha a free, a free, a Ghana authority, a free. Eh, or say, evacuation stranded of stranded Ghanaians. The permanent mission of Ghana to the United Nations and the Consulate General of New York present, uh, presents their compliment and inform stranded Ghanaians who are registered with the Consulate General to note and observe the following. The, um, one, the flight from New York area will be on june and on a chassis and a chassis 2020 from liberty international airport new jersey okay two the reporting time a better reporting time a beco a one or more more quarter that june was seven and notice on the moment okay the airfare for the flight is thousand three hundred and fifty for economy class and 2,840 for business class. This is a June uh, notice that I'm telling you now because nothing has come out yet. Number three, uh, number four, I'll say, I'll say, number three, I'll say the airline for the flight. Okay, and two, Price of baggage of 50 pounds or 22 kilos per passenger will be allowed. Fares for infants can be found in the Ethiopian airline website. So that means they are using the Ethiopian airlines in June. I want everybody to pay attention on this issue. Uh, there will be a pre-boarding screening for all evacuation. We all know. Say you know we all need due to the um coronavirus you know you need to be pre-screened okay now i say there will be a 14 day mandatory quarantine upon arrival in accra with a possibility of extension of to 21 days the cost of the quarantine will be will be borne by the evacu evacuee as per 
attached selected hotels. Now, no, your mouth option whereby one can sub a quack or pet or hotel, a quack or anti home. A buying and cassana, a bab a chill, baby, a was so Baby, a was so called a Kimpinski hotel. A six hundred and fifty dollars, which is five star hotel. The next one is African Regent, a three star, six five hundred and fifty. And you know me, I don't know. ya buboy, omo omo ba match nim somewhere January, omo ba omo ba kwenti omo no juma ba no ma ye, omo ba vi as visited, omo krata awo ye, omo ni krata ebi ye juma. In chumbe ye den, enya se sike, omo airline sika, no mo asan enya. Or more quarantine sika for between two, 14 and 21 days. Abai, where dear? Yes, Ramo. I'm sure do do a co. Omo mu obi no. Do do a co. Last week you cry a big coy. Now yes, Ramo say. So Abai ne beti niya ye bibi afa. Na omo omo to me tia no. Abai na bua wom. No more finding means, ways and means, send your bear ya or move a bear Because moon ya 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 the airline ticket, you know, so yami adam airline tickets in big ma, you know, long term range, but that wasn't the plan. The plan is to say, oh, but no, it's not. Any anum, mommy and fat politics in turn change. Any anum be a whole tree one. Omo person omo coffee. Sebe omo mi omo ni any omo flight is sika. Sa quarantine sika no omo nya. In China, what's up, Bino? May Sreni Jeremus, they say, On Shannon, finding ways and means. Me did this a more and more basso no mobile say, Na a quetry. Oh, I see you, black Jesus. Na a quetry. Because I yes, I am co ye and co ye. I am me, Cassula, no need way I can't hear more me, fake a take a bar. Jack, I won't yam me. Any ameba holidays, ye man say. Eko me be baka. Ame kale jake. Jen ame be return ticket eh. Ame here return ticket. She be ane. She she je ni Ghana government ke quarantine ke oba land ye. Kwe free ni ye. Bi ane je free ni. E sani boden to pay. Ni hotels na me choose ji. Kimpiski hotel. Ke African region. Ni oba pe kimpiski or pe six hundred and fifty dollars uh, cities. Ni African region to win a three star or pe five fifty. Five fifty ne calculate mo five fifty ne walk on like a hundred dollars a day. Hundred dollars a day times fourteen. Can you all try a hi mo ba be twenty one days? Anyemi ingbe wanye me ne akoshka ne. Shika na ma kokeje. A work at Ghana government, a bar quabon, a bar fee. Ni one yen me ne a wave in a kind she can, many men ya may afford a ne wave in a kind she can't get the jemme. A wave you get the jem. A jacket a flatch at a flatch. A one yen me na me baka a Ghana. Ni abawa make a babi a moque ya quarantine. Es a new yoshia. Es a new yoshia. A work at government there, a tefeno, if a jacket may a hen shaman bene, may a hen shammy. The government there, and yea, care walk a she best can make a bawa. A jacket won nanny be near. Ni at this time, this year, the crisis that we are in, the challenges that we are facing, eh, we are facing ways and means whereby. We can protect ourselves from this coronavirus. So every country is fighting coronavirus. They are not fighting anybody. And the coronavirus that we are even fighting with 
we don't see whether it's black, yellow, or green. So we are doing all means to protect ourselves. My point is that I agree that the, the Ghana government is doing the quarantine process. But now you are putting the burden on them. And I know, I have read, and you, the government has posted, that they get a grant towards this corona crisis. Those, that kind of money supposed to be taking care of people that are returning home from abroad. So you use that money to quarantine them. But in the initial stages, for the two, three weeks that you, 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 know, you held everything, that's the only time you use the money. And now you are telling us the money is done. Now your people are stuck abroad because they don't have the money to pay the 14 to 21 days quarantine. And they have places in Ghana. Why don't you find a means of money whereby you can do the instant check, the instant test of the uh, disease, the 15 minutes one, the instant, or even if it's one day it's going to take. If everything is slow, you know, we said Africa, everything is slow. If it is slow, dear, then why don't you do at least one or two days and you test them and you let them go home and you do a contact tracing. But keeping them and making them pay the money ahead of time before they board the plane, how do you expect them to get that money? That's my question. Put politics aside, because those people that are here, they are not only MPPs and NDC. Bro, everybody is included. They are Ghanaians. So let's put politics aside and let's help our brothers and sisters that are stuck. Because their visa is expiring. The place of stay, you know how it is. We live here with, a, you know, we're squeezing. So there is time for everything. For how long the person can hold down and feeding and providing shelter. Whereby, it's not that they don't want to leave, but they want to leave. But the government of Ghana and the Minister of Health don't have the provision for them to do the quarantine process because they want to take the money from them. NLA, AR Logic, by Uncle Ye, a bimu was scanning the Omobe that quarantine, almost scow of fear, Bushia for Wakume, she and Abape. Some people don't have that luxury. They don't have luxury and they are here. My question is the government should do something about it. Recently, we saw uh, Lebanon, the Ghanaians that were stranded there. I saw it in the media that uh, Honorable Kennedy Gepo gave almost $150,000 to go and assist them to bring them back home. If one person can shoulder this amount, then we can get a system, we can get a test that they can get an instant test. So they can come home to get tested and go home and they can do a follow-up. That is what is needed to be done. Instead of directing them, make, doing marketing business, directing them to hotels to pay in advance. Hello, am I talking to someone? Am I talking to someone? Your people are stuck. Your people are stuck back home. The quarantine, they don't have the means. And they are going to be more stranded here. How are we, or how is the government? We over here are helping them. We are doing our best to assist them. Some of here over here have lost our jobs. But we are managing. They are here. As long as we eat, they're going to eat. As long as we have a shelter, they'll have a shelter. But now they want to go home. But they have to cough out between fifteen and $2,000 for quarantine. Hey, child. 
So if one person, like I said, eh, ne any shoulder, one fifty thousand dollars. Now you can do make it the Lebanon. Then why can't the government help to assist the fee or some form of less days and have equipment, have a machine that can test instant over here in the U.S. Some people might say don't compare, but I'll compare. The government said because this is the year that we are fighting coronavirus. There is no option. There's no under any other thing. The main focus is to get this coronavirus reduced or you know disappear completely. So the government, the city mayors, the officials took it to themselves. They encourage people. If you are tested, you have corona, you have family, just let them know. They will move you to a hotel. You don't have to pay anything for them to monitor you. And the Ghana government started like that, which is the right thing to do. Then in the middle of the way, the money that UN give out, the money quench, disappear by taking care of a handful of people with millions of dollars. Hello, we have our people here. I'm talking from the US. We have our people here that want to come home, but they don't have that quarantine money with that five-star Kimpiski and uh, African Regent Hotel. They don't have it. So please, please, please come up. I know our Consulate General is, uh, might be listening, might be able to hear it. Uh, the communication person might be watching as I speak now. Please come out, plead on the behalf of our brothers and sisters who wanted to return home but don't have the quarantine money. They don't. They even broke from here. Now they are trying to raise the money for the airline. So why do they have to also pay for the quarantine? Why they are home? They are their own home. That's good. So find the means to get a machine to get the instant test right there. Get instant test right there. Or the consulate general, the Ghana mission, to find a way and get the machine at the consulate general and let them go there to get tested and wait for the for the clearance of their test. Please hold on, bear with me one second. Bear with me. And, and let them hold on for the for the results to come. Please uh give me one second, please. Uh yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. So this is what I'm saying. The the over here. The Ghana mission can find a means to get for those people who want to return to be tested here. So with their results, they will be able to take them, board the plane and take them home without keeping them for the two weeks. There is a way to solve this issue, but no one is looking or thinking outside the bus. I'm sorry if I'm using a harsh way. Because more than two, three people that wanted to, and I have given the, 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 uh, the contact number for Ghana Mission for them to call. Nothing they can do for them. So since nothing they can do for them, that's why I am here today to speak to everyone. So for it to reach the right people in Ghana, the Minister of Health, and the government to find ways to come and help these people. Uh, even America contact tracing is a problem, left alone Ghana. My sister, I agree with you, but what I'm trying to say now is that be keeping them for two weeks to almost three weeks by paying that money, 650 or definitely it's going to be 550, where are they going to raise their funds? Almost $2,000. 
if it's the 14 days, it's like 1400. Uh, 1400, yeah, because the 550 is now converted to a hundred dollars a day, unless the way that they stated in the notice that I read for the 14 days is that 650. Then I stand to be corrected. But from my understanding, what I read, a day is 650 for Kimpiski, and uh, African regent is 550. So if I am wrong reading it, or my understanding is wrong on the notice that came out in June, then I stand to be corrected. Then they can afford it, $100 for the 14 days. Then that is fair. But if not, and they are expecting them to pay that kind of money, I, I, I'm sorry. This is too much for them. So the government, I'm here pleading. Because now, I posted, this is why I'm kind of hot and hype on this issue. Because it's election time. We all know it's election time. And, you know, both all parties are kind of like moving back and forth to win votes. Let's push that aside. But on Ghana web, I received the link. Modern Ghana stated the the can Oforata proposing to buy an armor cars. An armored cars in year 2020 will full blown pandemic coronavirus. Is the government going to use the armor card and ammunition, whatever, to fight? the coronavirus let me play naive i don't get it whereby people don't have a place to sleep hospitals are getting filled up with uh, people that are infected with the coronavirus we haven't get a, a full treatment yes yet and you're thinking of an armored car unless maybe the news is fake which I doubt. I really doubt it. In the anum, ah yeah, kasa Ghana for me put you on my Facebook. I ask the question: Is it the right time? Some people come up insulting me because I forgive them because they are not open-minded, and it's hard to deal with such people because they are very narrow. When they are walking straight, you can't say anything to tell them that your direction, you're going to the wrong direction until, until they go and hit the wall. So I just, me, I just let that go. But I am here today, today on the, what, what, what's, what's today? What's today? Tuesday. To plead to inform, to awake, you know, to share whatever, whatever language that you want to put it, because they can't do it. And let me continue with the reading. Payment and proof, therefore, of the airfare and quarantine will be required before boarding departure from Liberty International Airport. So it's not like you are going to Ghana and for them to negotiate with you whether you'll be able to pay it or not. King, 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 king. The money is being <laughs> demanded before you bought the plane. I didn't say it. I'm reading from the notice from, uh, from uh, the notice uh, Ghana Machine shared here. Uh, Payment information must be submitted of the Ghana Consulate General, New York. So last week, another flight went, it left here to Ghana. Like I said, some people can afford, some cannot. So please, when you come on, share. The government needs to come and assist these people. Hi, John Ziger. I see you. Na na efua ablefi one. I see you. Yes, yeah, so 
Sometimes we must say the truth. Uh, their priorities are misplaced. It's really misplaced. But you, you know how the politics go. Any papa penny eh, can no for yata say Amo card no and I said your mo yes say no and ko ye and yes a sen ye ye to amoka u say o ko to dia se senya ye kind no sa ne tia dear. Whereby me did he say that ninety nine point nine per cent accurate inti ni yan kwa forno omu here inti gana asem no me de bepim ha. The bepim has a bat, and yan ma ma basso, moma yet yan tosso, na yan she, na che se, yen yan no ma, o ma kakro muhani, o monsa enka, na me ba the kind Ghana news that can swa mamma. Someone him send ya yan no, stories from Ghana. Eh, yen ya yen him a lynching of the ninety year old woman. No. Sorcerer arrested at her hideout, ya chino. Uh, the Ghana police have arrested the sorcerer who uh, masterminded the lynching of the 90-year-old Madame Ekia Denta in Kafaba. The sorcerer Shirani Mohammed alias Alajia, age 40, was arrested at a hideout at Yeji last night. She was currently in police custody. The six persons earlier arrested are said to be among those who invited the traditional priestess to the Kafama community to identify witches and perform the rites of and perform the rites. The five who were transferred to the Savannah Regional Police Headquarters were put before the magistrate court in Bali and have been reminded to reappear on August 20. The chief of Kabafa Seydou Yaya was the first to be arrested in connection with the murder of Madame Epia Adanta to assist the police in its investigation but has since been granted bail. Madame Epia Adanta was on July 23, 2020 lynched after a traditional priestess declared her as a witch. Dead body vanishes at morgue found in another village. Wow, what a headline. The burial and funeral rites of a 95-year-old woman were put on hold as the family members who had gone to retrieve the body at the morgue were unable to find it. Per funeral, the arrangement the disease was to be buried on Sunday, July 11, 2020. But on Friday, July 10, 2020, the body had gone missing at the health faci facility where it was deposited. According to the family source, mourners went to the hospital named with health in the Volta region to claim the corpse, but mortuary attendants said they could not locate it. Hey, Ghana. As bizarre as the situation was, the relative who did, who did not take kindly to the information insisted they have to find and take the body home. Their agitation, the source said, led to hours of complete search at the mortuary with dozens of bodies brought out for identification but that did not produce any positive results. Eventually, we, uh, eventually they had to return, and I quote, eventually we had to return home not knowing what to do next. The body was deposited at the facility about four months to the time we had gone there to receive it. And we, have, we were sure of where exactly it was kept. So, Everybody was shocked that the body could not be found. I unquote. The family member said that. 
The relative added that when all cops of the finding the body of their old lady appear shattered, they receive information that the body might have been claimed from the morgue by another family. The source intimidated that true to their suspicions, some elders traced the information to the nearby village only to inform that the corpse had been buried by the unknown family. And I quote, we were told the body of the old woman had been buried there three weeks ahead of our scheduled funeral date. Initially, the other family did not want to exhume the body for us, so we had to get the backing of the police and elders of the village to assume the body and release it to us to take back to our village. I unquote, the source said, explaining how they were able to identify the body of the old lady, the source said that the woman was well preserved and buried in an expensive cas casket, so the body had not yet decomposed. Wow. A happy or die. I see that the woman named Bobby T. Nakata. Next one. I was a resident protest after four year old knocked down by a car. Hundreds of residents of Awoshi, Mangwase, on Tuesday, August 4th, which is today, besieged a section of the Ablekuma Highway to demand the repair of the traffic light on this, on this stretch. Their protest was sparked by the death of a four-year-old boy who was run over and killed on Monday. That was yesterday. Their protest was sparked by the death of the four-year. Um, their protest was attracted heavy police and military presence to try and calm tension. Some of the angry residents spoke to City News and said they had suffered too many casualties on the road. And I quote: "We got knocked down by cars like chickens." Up to Ablekuma, all the traffic lights are not functioning. Last week, someone was knocked down. It happened again on Saturday, one resident said. Our leaders are not thinking of the well-being of citizens. We vote because we want development. The police said soldiers are here. When they leave, we will still demonstrate and prevent any car from plying the road, he added. And I quote, a woman who was protesting also said, we have made several complaints to our leaders and yet we are not seeing any change. The, member, the number of people who have been killed on this road is uncountable. So here we are. Ebiana Mekano. Nyomebi Wahua. Look, I watch this traffic light, this area, I know that. A quining nano unam sukra now call a ye. Your friend is saying, Oh, oh, call Baba. Pokwasi that area no unam quano so a whole aye to traffic lights in here. You must have new highway now. Yeah, yeah, you know. Now, baby, sir, say Ghana, ya wo a solar system woho traffic lights, you know. Yeah, and to me, yeah, no combine. And I say, say, electricity bill, ne air chain. Yeah, and to me, you use solar system. Then you may not can hear any so. Hello, I dey an air coso. Me ni ya no. Ne ke able kumag bene ke mo ke ya poku asik bene. Can hear traffic lights air chaining. Air chaining ke dey air check. Minte gan last year air chaining. Ni me ni anya use solar system. Kaka sola mano gana hunu chuo. Nike sola system e mano keshe beke ke ba su poto no o sono poden che at least e kanefi o ye jen. Fenoni achi anu keka ona kefe ke won yue fi o toma wame ni wo yo man se won yue ni bi kome ne ye hiya. Naka nji bo ni me kome jo. Si ke won wate gana won wa face the same challenges. 
let me tell you a story about this. Uh, me two years ago, me me corner me me to Pokwasi. Now me kwa that highway no, se truck no, a uh, big big truck no, ascend it si kwa no swa. Gana so drivers ni be brave ni road signs no. Se e be a accident car ahead that we be see about two three cars away, like half a mile away. Se there is a uh, damage car on the road no. Drivers no so driver, almost driver sabi, a bit more driver to say, almost again no mini meter no and yajma. Ube who na me take care him, and I'm catching a driver and said to Obu Adiasa. Now can't be so any my own. I said, Yam man, who be see ya yabba my and this one track, track a train like a sea, a sea and in a yamenqua. Because I used to a yamenqua. Until near Omo Kano, a bind fan as so called. Sell electricity, no, no, no problem. Mount a solar system on the top. Hey, yay. Many sunny me, aya, one year here, low one year say. What can founders day today? Today is founders day. And the founders, if we, we were to go back to talk about what the founders did, you know, and compare today. Come on, we are going backwards. We are going backwards. Founders Day. Because they want to, big says, they want to ball everything together. So they, they don't want to put a name with the with the pe person that leave, Kwame Nkuma. So the package is Founders Day. Kwame Nkuma, you package it. Compare. Before me, 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 no, not Ghana. Yeah, 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 to say, make us say, it be a road, but things were, were, were functioning. Now we are going back. Oko, kape, hey. The close minded people will come start to insult you. But whatever that happened in Ghana, for those of us that we are abroad, we also visit Ghana. So whatever that happened in Ghana, affect us we have families in ghana we have relatives we have loved ones so that's why we sit here and we can't shut our mouth some of us cannot keep quiet mean to me me we have to talk so the government should you know run the um and what is also going on uh, when you look at social media aspects, you see videos of people, you see video of people um, being harassed, that they are not Ghanaians, that they are from the voter, or they are not this, or they are named this, they are not this. People who have lived there, they born there, grew up there, the same people who voted four years ago are now unable to vote this year. And now, not just that they are saying it by, you know, mouth and saying, hey, you can vote, but they are also chasing them with ammunition, like we are at war, for Christ's sake. Are we at war? Are we at war? Are we at war? To prevent people from registering. People who have lived there for years. People who were born there. The same people you voted for the current government. So what went wrong? What Ghana, let, let's be careful. Though. Let's be very, very careful. Let's Let's be very careful, though. This is just a registration, though. And we are seeing people getting hurt, people getting killed, and people being abused in so many ways. What is happening? What is happening? And the government, the leaders haven't said anything. They have kept silent. But they came out and talked about the old lady that, uh, you know, was lynched. Yes. That is something that needs to be addressed, including the people who have been killed, 
during registration, people who have been hurt during registration. We, you have to come out. President Nanako Fado, you have to. You have to and can say something to put a stop to it. This is not right. The images we are seeing from outside abroad, it is not safe. It is not safe. Some people are already arming themselves to defend themselves. For what? And I know most of your leaders, most of your people in parliament, they know what is going on in on the ground. But you are silent, Papa. You are silent, Papa. What do you want to see before you come out and tell your people, stop it, let them register. As long as they are able to prove all the needed uh, proof that is being required, let them register because it's the same people who voted four years ago. Now there's army, there's guns, there's police, there's everything. Like Ghana is heading to war. Why, Papa? Come out and say something. People are taking matters into their own hands. If you open your mouth and you say that men PP, they will attack you. If you open your mouth and you say you are NDC, they will attack you. If you say something, they will call you CID or whatever, BNI, will invite you to their place. What type of Ghana are we living in? Where are we heading? Our parents, our fathers, they are scared. Our little innocent ones are afraid. Because if you turn on to, let me show you one. In case you, you haven't seen what I'm talking about, I will show you one of the videos. And this is not that this video hasn't been um it hasn't been in the system for long give me one second let me pull it out for you and uh, to show you on my phone it's all over on social media somebody might come out that oh this is this is propaganda this is propaganda if it is propaganda then please come out <laughs> Let me show you what is going on on the grounds. Maybe you will get a picture. Look, uh, this one. Let me show you. You see? You see the car, the army car is not even, look, uh-huh, you see that. Let me show you another one too. This one, uh, it's here, you can see I see in there. This is not about politics. My concern is whereby the army people blocking the way. It's not about, it's here, you can see. I'm not here for politics, but for the rights of the people of Ghana. For the right of the people that need to be registered. Look at this. Is this something a good thing that we need a military people to be done? Now, let me show you this one too. Let me show you the students. You know, uh, people are getting frustrated. Look. Students. Look. Look at this student. What is going on? Look at this. This is just the beginning. Registration time. Look. 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 I have so many videos that I can play over and over. Listen, this is student. You 
You see what is going on? Sabi, and quiet you na eh 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 beka eh sabi eh peni nana. Please come out. The violence are too much. This is just a registration. If you are disfranchising people that live in Ghana, that means yeah yeah you are abroad, no. Nana na meka say yeah you are abroad, no. Those that are yes as the sporings. That means in the area, the area, the Europe, and the same more man and tough. Because some more more take Ghana, some more more take Ghana. Ah, yeah, I can tell me say, oh, we oh free water, oh free hat, oh free body, oh free hat, oh to me vote to there. And yeah, 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 take her no. Ah, Ghana for your work when to your man, your person, your two are banu. And yeah, 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 say, yeah, 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 now so mo sorry a mo ba ho. Ki mama na make us anu. Mo sorry a mo ba ho. Ye ni anu MPP NDC forward grounds. Die hard. Ah, o mo ye campaign. E pia. These two political parties. Inti se gana fu a mo te gana. Ah, ye de amokas. Eni e yi bazooka. Eni ni oma esu a mo kwain. To register there, and yeah, 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 tia kwenti onu monoso. Yeah, so there na mo kan fa hu. Because yeah, yeah, see I I cry na mo ka se o mo ba habe ye rounds bossman. Ni na se for ne that's under parliament. O koka ye si corona. Corona so shani e koso. Corona so shani e koso. Nti ye 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 ti amanoni ga na for no. Ni ni anom ne madofo no ma mo ti me. Mwanka Samu, you be the judge. Mwanka Samu judge ya se mi se gana fwe te gana. Na, ya katwa musomu nye gana fwe dia. En ye yeswa ye wa kwenti yonu munu nsodo. Na che si yesu ye 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 deni. E ya se mi sa na mi bi sa. So bi wanua, onti mi ema me ansa wame yi no so. Um... Now, nah, if we let me read some of the tests here. Uh, now, nah, if we have a visa, misplaced priority is killing us. Ghanaian politize every, everything, and that is why we are not moving forward. Yes, my sister. Uh, she also said here, yeah, my sister, it's time for them to know that Ghana is not for them and their family. And now, Bole said, keep doing the work, my sister. God bless you. Um, Kobe Thompson said, but some students are also jubilating. Yes, I agree with you, Kobe. That's why I'm saying that. But we don't want negativity around. Jubilation is great. But the point is, where are we heading? Where are we heading? Um, oh, Maria, I greetings. Uh, greetings, my sister. Maria, I'm welcome. Okay, call uh, suspension of voters. Yes. So if if people that live in Ghana, they live in Ghana, they were born in Ghana, and they said they are not. Hey, Ghana, where are we heading? Where are we moving forward? The same people who voted four years ago are now being prevented that they can vote because they are from here, they are from here. When did this happen? So those of us living abroad, my brothers and sisters, they came around that the ROPA will be implemented. Bosma and Co., they all came. I am part of it. We assist them. Progressive Alliance Movement. They say, oh, we are going. Now they're telling Corona. Corona for where? Corona Day. But you the register people. Corona day. But you the send arm and uh, Delta Force people out there. Corona day. You do do your thing. So Corona day. Why don't you implement? So us living in the Aspa also vote. What is the excuse? I always, uh, you know, talk about it on my show towards the end. That this is unfair. So now from my point of view. What I'm seeing that's happening in Ghana, that people live in Ghana and they said they are not Ghanaians, 
Then us in the diaspora, what will you do? That means you are lying to us. That's why I said there will be no fundraising. Thank God there's a corona going around. But if there were to be a fundraising somewhere, my brothers and sisters that live in New York City, most of you know me, know my stand. I don't belong to any political party, but I attend to your events based because I am a Ghanaian and I have the right to monitor and follow what's going on and due to what I do in the community. But if there is happen that there will be a fundraising, and I repeat, anybody raising funds to support the party, chai, why? Why will you have to? If you live in a diaspora and they don't care, your vote doesn't matter to them. Why do you have to break people's back and twist people's hand to support the party? I'm talking to both two parties. Talking to both two parties because they've been playing these games back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Enough is enough. At least those people living in Ghana, let them register to vote. Let their vote count and stop harassing them with machine guns. And in the midst of this, you come that you go to parliament, you want to go and purchase an ammo car. Hey, Ghana. Hey, when you're here, no one must say. Anyway, a word to a wise. That's enough. Now let's get to uh, New York City. New York City, hmm, since Floyd issue, there has been a lot of killings in our community. And it's the violence is too much. Babies are being killed. Children are being a victim. The shooters don't care where they, they point the gun at. We are begging and pleading that this should stop. We don't want any more violence. We don't want any more innocent life lost in our community. We are tired of crying. We don't want to cry anymore. We want to live free. We don't want to see a, a, a young guy just graduated and was shot, killed by a stray bullet. An innocent baby, a one-year-old, Brooklyn, was shot. A three-year-old was shot in our community, in our boroughs in New York City. No, let's put a stop to it. Let's all support to put a stop to it. This is not right. This is not the Bronx, the New York that I knew when I migrated from Africa. No, this is not. And I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to be a New Yorker. I am very proud. So it's very disappointing to hear in the news a day 50 people shoot, uh, were shot. You know, it's too much. One is too much. So on that note, um, coming Thursday, which is on the 6th, two days, two, two days from today, two days from today, um, there will be a community event that uh, officers and the community people are going to come together in the Bronx. This is it. The sign says stop the violence. Let me give you the information. There's going to be different games. Uh, basketball, there will be giveaway, skill and drill. Meet local cops, you know, uh, uh, police pe police officers on, on point. This is the address. It's going to be one East 169th Street between 3rd Avenue and Park Avenue in the Bronx. This program, this unity stop the violence 
with the police officers. This event is going to be on Thursday, the 6th, 2020, starting from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. The address is East 169 Street, between 3rd Avenue and the Park Avenue, Bronx, New York. Come and meet all your local community officers. And it's going to be a nice day. Also, the National Ghana Parade Council going to host this year virtual um, Ghana Fest. We all know what is on the ground, that um, due to the corona, we don't want to congregate in one place that, you know, will be spreading because you don't know who has it. Corona has no face. Coronavirus is faceless. People might be working, but there might be a career they don't know. So to protect ourselves and to make sure that we follow the CDC regulation, we we, 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 we turn in, you know, the new style, the trend, virtual. You will be able to watch it on Saturday, uh, 1 p.m. on Ghana Parade Facebook. Ghana Parade Facebook. So just uh, go to Facebook and type in Ghana Parade. And it's going to prompt you. It's going to start at 1 p.m. And let me tell you, we have nice, you know, program arrangements that you and your family will enjoy the Ghana African culture. It will be a day to remember. 2020, you remember, oh, 2020 virtual I was there, be part of the history. So save the date, August 8, Saturday, Ghana Fest virtual event. It's going to come on and it's going to be preview on uh, Ghana Parade Facebook, uh, Key Mama Facebook, uh, GHL Media will also show, uh, Trend Africa will also uh, uh, show. So. Please, 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 Saturday 1, as, lo as soon as you sit down and you click on the Ghana Parade Facebook and it prompts you, share, so it will go far. Um, thanks for raising the topic of the senseless gang related to shooting, killing babies and innocent. My sister, it is very disturbing that, you know, you wake up in the morning in the news, they said, oh, there's a gunshot here, the gunshot there, gunshot everywhere in the Bronx. And we are saying Black Lives Matters. So if Black Lives Matters, then why are you killing your own fellow brothers and sisters? Why? We were living peacefully, quiet, everything was going on, happy. Once a while, you will hear something like that. But now... It's like, hello, babies, the last one, recent one, one-year-old child became a victim. Come on, my brothers and sisters out there. If you have a beef with somebody, be mindful where you point your guns. First of all, there is no even need to use a gun. There are so many ways to solve a problem. Let's put our guns down. Let's put the guns down. That will not solve our problem. So Saturday, I'd like to see you at uh, East 169th Street between 3rd Avenue and Park Avenue, 2 p.m. Join the police officers in our communities. They are doing a wonderful job. Without the police, I'm telling you, we need the police. Not all police officers are mean and evil. We have good and great ones out there that watch out for us. We have friends and family in the, uh, that in the force, police force. So not all officers are mean and evil. It's just unfortunately that look the way that Floyd and black lives started. And now there's a gun violence everywhere. What is going on? 
What is going on? So put your guns down. A real man is the man that talks, not a man that uses weapons. Using a weapon doesn't make you a man. Doesn't make you a smart man. No. Why? You want someone to lose their lives? What will you gain? Even those who, you know, did the shooting and the baby died. I know wherever that you are, you are feeling guilty. Let's stop the violence. Let's stop it. And we will have a peaceful boy. You are watching Key Mama. Saturday, I would like to see you watching Ghana Parade, Ghana Fest 2020 virtual. And now uh, you, you will enjoy yourself. So also subscribe to my YouTube page, Key Mama Show. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. God will bless you. If you have any story, any topic, any business you want me to talk about it or to share, feel free to inbox me, Key Mama Show on Facebook. Have a good day. Stay safe. Don't forget to wear your face mask. Hand wash regular. If you don't have it, use your hand sanitizer. Stay six feet apart. It's better than six feet under. God bless you and have a good day.